Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you for joining me in today's video. In today's video we are going to be talking about improving the triangle mid-segment theorem. So the triangle mid-segment theorem states that the mid-segment connecting the midpoints of the two legs of the triangle is both parallel to the base and one half the length of the base. So here over here in our picture we of course have our triangle and you can see this dotted line is our mid-segment such that the two midpoints of our triangle are being connected. So in order to prove this theorem, we need to both prove that the mid-segment is parallel to the base, and then we need to prove that it is one half the length of our base. So let's go ahead and uh, copy this image and take it down to a, another page just so we can have some more space. Okay, here we are. So again, we want to prove that, so first let's prove that our mid-segment is parallel to the base. Oops, is parallel to the base. That's not an 11, that's just the symbol for parallel. So to do this, so in geometry we are allowed to construct lines of the same length. So let's do that now. Let's duplicate our mid-segment and shift it over such that it goes out here. And then let's connect this corner to here. So I'm going to outline this in green, the triangles that I want us to focus on. So let's focus on these two triangles. First, we're going to prove that these triangles are congruent. So let's get ready with our statements and reasons for our proof, just so we know exactly what is happening. So statements and reasons. So we don't really have a given to restate. We just have our picture. So we're going to skip that part. But we're going to be focusing in on these triangles. And of, and of course, we're going to label our picture as we go. So what do we notice about these two triangles? Well, let's call this angle 1 and angle 2. We can say angle 1 is congruent to angle 2 by the vertical angle theorem. We can say that this side length is congruent to this side length by construction. And we'll call this side length A and this side length B. So A is congruent to B, and that's by construction. That's by design. That's kind of like our given. And then what else can we say? Well, this side length is congruent to this side length. That's also from our given as th that was the definition. That was what we were told for the mid-segment was that it was the intersection of the two midpoints of our legs. So we'll call this side, D, side C and side D. So C is congruent to D uh, via our given, or by, by definition of midpoint. OK, now we can say that these two triangles are congruent by our side angle side postulate. Let's scroll down a little bit. So our triangles, and I am kind of doing this shorthand, triangles are congruent by side angle side postulate. And how can that help us? Well, because our triangles are congruent, here now that we've proved that, let's clear this up a little bit, have some more breathing room, so to speak. So we know that our triangles in green are congruent. And because of that, 
we know what? Well, we know that this angle is congruent to this angle. We'll call it angle X and angle Y. So we know that angle X is congruent to angle Y because corresponding parts of corresponding triangles are congruent. And because these, because angle X and angle Y are congruent, we can say that this line here and this line here are parallel and they're parallel by the converse of alternate interior angles. So we'll, we'll call this full line, what should we call it? How about we just call it, uh, we'll call it alpha and we'll call it gamma. So line alpha is parallel to line gamma by the converse of alternate interior angle theorem. Okay, so here, let me move my picture out of the way just so we can see a little bit better. Scroll up so you can see the full picture. So here we just proved that line alpha and line gamma are parallel. Again, just as a refresh, we did it by constructing a length equal to the length of our mid-segment. And then we proved that these triangles here outlined in green and now shaded in green are congruent. And because they are congruent, we can use the converse of the alternate interior angles theorem to say that line alpha is parallel to line gamma. Okay, now that we've done the first part, it's on to the second part. So let's clean this picture up a little bit and move forward. Okay, I'm gonna clean this up. Again, I'm going to uh, copy this image. Let's copy this image and move it down. Duplicate. Okay. So now that we have proved that this line and this line are parallel, let's prove that the mid segment is half the distance of the full base. Okay, let's again, let's get our statement and reason columns. Statement and reason. Okay, as we said, these two triangles are congruent. Therefore, their corresponding parts are congruent. Because their corresponding co parts are congruent, we can say, of course, that we already said this bottom angle is congruent to this top. We can say that this angle here is congruent to this angle. Okay, and here, this is, where, this is where it comes in. We might not even need our statement and reason. Since these lines are parallel, we can say that this angle is a corresponding angle. Angle one and angle two are corresponding. So angle one is congruent to angle two via corresponding angles. And likewise, angle three is corresponding to angle four. So they are also congruent by corresponding angles. Because all of these angles are equivalent, we can say by we can say that our top small triangle, here let's outline it in pink, this top small triangle is going to be similar to
to this full kahuna triangle. So our big blue triangle is similar to our pink triangle by angle, angle, angle similarity. Okay, now let's think about just the side lengths. Let's clear this up. So we just proved that our triangles are similar, our big triangle and our small triangle. And so where can we go with that? Here, we don't even need, we don't even need these green lines anymore. We'll leave, we'll leave those there just because it's hard to erase. But we know our top triangle is similar to our full triangle. Again, that's by angle, angle, angle similarity. And again, by definition of midpoint, this side is to this side, and this side is to this side, this length. Well, what's this full distance? This full distance, let's call it Z. And so each of these, so I want you to notice that our small triangle, its relationship, this is Z over two. And because our triangles are similar, their side lengths are proportional. And so this full base, which we originally called D, the base of our smaller triangle must be D over two. So therefore, our base is D over two. And it's the reasoning is because the similarity is a two to one triangle similarity. And there we have it. That is us proving the triangle mid segment theorem. We proved both that the mid segment is parallel and we also proved that it is half the distance of the base. If you found this explanation helpful, let me know down below in the comments. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.